Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, we'll talk about where to store our files. So we have two possibilities. One is a document library, as you can see here, where the focus of the everything is the, the document, and then you can add uh, metadata. And the other option is to add it as an attachment in the list. Uh, the way to add it in the list is if I add uh, a new item, then I have this attachment, if, if the settings uh, show this. Now, um, I, people in the community actually asked me and I tried to find uh, the answer. Uh, the document library is the place where you can manage the, the document. You can filter, you can search, you can add uh, metadata, you can edit, you can download and do, uh, you can run a, a workflow, you can do lots of things. So the document is actually the focus point uh, and that's the, the best practice to, to work. On the other hand, sometimes you want to add a document but it's not the main focus. So the data in the list, just like in a list I created now, it has a title, it has a yes, no uh, choice column. And in addition, uh, it's possible to add the attachment. But this attachment is meant mo mostly for uh, things that should not be changed. And it's just uh, something that you don't need to locate it by a search. Uh, but then the question was, uh, what happens if I do need to, uh, if I use a document that is attached in the list, what can I do to change? So actually, uh, I checked it and if I go into the item, you notice that um, actually I can just click this uh, file and I can uh, uh, do a change and if I close it and re-enter it, you'll see that this uh, change has been updated. So um, luckily uh, it, there's an auto save and the thing is somehow um, updated. Uh, this attached file, if you look below, it's under a hidden folder which is called attachment and there's the item. Uh, number, but it's not the best practice. Um, so, but we noticed we can edit, and the next person that end enters will see the latest change. Um, what else we can do? We can, if you notice, I can actually click and remove this attachment, and it says, "Are you sure?" Then uh, we can say, "Actually, yes." delete and we can actually add a new file which is the updated one. Um, let's add it and but the, uh, the, the downside is actually it's not possible to download it. Uh, well you can actually uh, open it like this and maybe you can uh, do some uh, save as but it's, it's not the best practice. If you need the file, then um, use it in a document library. That's the best uh, scenario. Uh, now, additional possibility is if you need the form and you want to add, you could add a new column, which is actually a URL, a hyperlink. So this will be the path to the file. Um, in, if I remember, there's also some limitation of uh, characters which can be uh, stored there. And if we have a document which is has uh, lots of subfolders, sometimes it will not uh, uh, let uh, me put the whole URL. So let's say in this case, I will just copy the link from the document library. And in the list itself, I will open the item and just a minute I need to refresh sometimes it takes a minute so let's open it and I have the path URL I can paste it 
but notice look how long it is and I, I promise you if 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 the hierarchy in in the document library and the name is long then actually it might not uh, enter I need to test that so uh, we could put here just a call it link and I will save it and in this case we have a link to to the document but and actually it's linking to where it's stored in the document library and not in the form but that that's uh, extra step which is um, not that convenient um, so if if you need the document and and it's not a final document open a create create a document library add the metadata also here i can for instance put a a choice column and uh, let's call it the uh, status i don't know if i have it and i could put the value new old oh just new and old and then uh, actually uh, we can take the document and mark it. Uh, people sometimes are a bit lazy tagging, but uh, that's uh, something you can sometimes uh, set this uh, column to be mandatory. But uh, even if you set it to mandatory, uh, it will not force the user. In this case, for instance, if I go and set it as a mandatory, it will just uh, give an alert, but it will, you see, require the column to contain information. So if I upload another document, sorry, and I have not tagged something, then you will see it will give a message, but it will let me work. So this is the message required information but it still let me do it. Only if I edit the, the document, it will require it. So at, at short, if you want to use, it really depends on the use case. Uh, if it's more recommended to use, if you need to do uh, versioning and, and changes and collaborate on the document, use the document library. If you just want to put the final, uh, uh, document which is uh, additional to the information user list we saw how we can edit uh, update uh, attached file how we can delete and upload something uh, so this is uh, you should consider these things and uh, see you in the next episode thank you and goodbye